covering major news across San Diego. This is a 10 News Update. Good morning, I'm Melody Mendez. A former Survivor producer whose wife was killed in Mexico is in jail this morning. The FBI and U.S. Marshals arrested Bruce Beersford Redman at his home in Rancho Palos Verdes. Beersford Redman is wanted in Mexico for aggravated homicide in the death of his wife, Monica. She was found dead in a sewer in Cancun in April. More than 570,000 Illinois residents registered to participate in the International Earthquake Drill today. Governor Pat Quinn proclaimed it as Great Shakeout Day. Residents in homes, schools, and other places were asked to take a minute to drop, cover, and hold on this morning around 1016. Illinois sits on top of two major fault zones. The largest earthquake ever to hit North America occurred in 1811 in New Madrid, Missouri, which was felt throughout the Illinois Territory. Well, four-year-old Eli Shane injured in the bus stop car crash, which killed his mother, should be released from the hospital later today. The little, little boy's arm and leg were broken and his liver ruptured when a PT cruiser driven by a 71-year-old diabetic woman crashed into them last weekend. Eli didn't know his mother, Vanessa Shane, had died in the crash until his grandparents told him. Clearly, to my understanding, it had Nissan written across the back of it, right? Yes, that is correct, Nancy. It, it had an emblem of Nissan imprinted on the back. Now, police are telling us today that they believe, because of numerous reports from the media, because of this vehicle, that the person driving the vehicle has possibly altered it in some way. Of course, we said it was a white vehicle. It had uh, uh, dings and dents on the back of it on the rear passenger side, some rust, kind of bad condition. Melanie, how is the evidence developed today? Well, what I can tell you, Nancy, is so far about 300 leads have come in since Ben went missing uh, Monday afternoon. So police continue to work those leads. They say that the uh, investigation is progressing and they have talked to some people of interest. For the Melanie, we don't usually get to report this kind of good news. Give it all to us. Yeah, I can tell you what, this is truly an amazing story. A happy ending for both of these families, two families, two communities, the entire St. Louis area just elated after the discovery of these two little boys in a Kirkwood apartment uh, late this afternoon. What I can tell you is that, yes, 11-year-old, uh, well, he was 11 at the time, but he is now 15 years old. Sean Hornback, he has been missing since 2002. He's now 15 years old. He was discovered along with Ben Owenby, who went missing late on Monday after getting off of the school bus. They were both found inside the apartment of a 41-year-old man who is a convicted sex offender. Speaking of our full potential, I think we're starting to reach it in the weather department. Rick Kirby is here with our forecast. It's looking up. Yeah, finally some sunshine and a lot of sunshine and it's going to stay sunny here. Looks like over the next week or so and temperatures are ready to trend up. There's a live look at our tower cam right now. The trees looking nice. All of that cloud cover to our east. So look for uh, the clearing sky trend here to continue tonight and it's going to be a nice weekend, but we will cool off a bit. I'll tell you how cool and have your complete forecast coming up. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much, Rick. Well, while the world is watching Ebola, local health authorities are warning that the flu is a greater concern here in central Illinois. On average, 24,000 people die from this virus every year. Sangamon County is urging people to make sure they get a flu vaccine. The county uses a vaccine that includes four strains for better protection. Well, two people are fighting for their lives this morning after a deadly crash off Highway 76 in Oceanside. A man was killed when police say he drove his BMW through a stop sign and was broadsided by a pickup truck. Two passengers in the BMW were airlifted to an Escondido hospital. Amazingly, the driver of the truck walked away with no injuries. And now 10 News Time Saver Traffic with Melanie Mendez. Starting off with a very serious crash near Camp Pendleton. We have a SIG alert in place on the 5. This crash involves an overturned vehicle. It's blocking the left lane. One person was killed in that crash. It happened an hour ago. Elsewhere, we have a wreck southbound 5 at Lucadia. It's causing a lot of slowing, but it's on the right side of the road. And a third crash in El Cajon, eastbound 8 at 2nd Street. No injuries being reported. I'm Melanie Mendez with your Time Saver Traffic. 
This morning, a City Heights neighborhood is trying to recover from a SWAT standoff. Police blocked off the neighborhood for hours yesterday after witnesses tracked two gunmen from a double shooting in a nearby park. On a day-to-day -day basis, it's, it's, it's mainly calm, but today it was unexpected. I never knew that he was get to this point where we have a standoff now. The shooting caused nearby Fay Elementary School to go into lockdown. A couple of hours into the standoff, police fired through the apartment window and threatened to send in police dogs. The two men eventually surrendered. During the standoff, one officer was injured when his own police dog bit his arm. Enrollment in the Poway Unified School District has hit an all-time high. The number of students at the district's campuses has topped 34,000 for the first time. That is a gain of more than 290 students over last year's enrollment. Well, that's going to do it for us. We'll see you again in 30 minutes with more news, traffic, and weather.